Hey everyone, Ryan here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can send emails using SendGrid. SendGrid is a leading email marketing service which can help you effectively engage with your audience and achieve your marketing goals. If you're a small business owner looking to promote your products, or a marketer aiming to nurture your leads, or even an organization seeking to keep your members informed, SendGrid provides a comprehensive platform for sending and managing your emails. I'm going to talk about the features and benefits of using this platform specifically and how it can help you streamline your email marketing efforts to drive better results. With SendGrid, you can create professional looking emails using customizable templates or your own designs, manage your subscriber lists and segment them based on various criteria, track the performance of your campaigns with detailed analytics and reporting, and automate your email sequences and workflows to save time and ensure consistency. By leveraging these features, you can create targeted and engaging email campaigns that resonate with your audience and achieve your desired outcomes. And before we actually get into the process of creating a SendGrid account, let's first explore the pricing options. And as of right now, SendGrid offers four main plans. You've got the free plan, which is ideal for getting started, allowing you to send up to 100 emails per day forever. There is also the Essentials plan, which starts at $19.95 per month. And this one starts with 1,000 emails per month, with the ability to increase that amount up to 100,000 emails per month. And of course, the pricing of the plan would increase. And at the highest amount of emails per month, you would have to pay $34.95 per month. This plan is suitable for growing businesses with basic email marketing needs. After that comes the pro plan at $89.95 per month. And with that, you would get 50,000 emails per month, again, with the ability to increase that for up to 2.5 million emails per month. And you would have to pay $1.1 thousand dollars per month. This one offers the advanced features of the platform for more sophisticated campaigns. And finally, the Premier plan, which is tailored for enterprise level requirements with custom pricing. So let's go ahead and click start for free if you want to test the platform out and navigate to the pricing page to begin the sign up process. The sign up process is very straightforward. You would have to enter your first name, last name, email address, and password. Or you can simply sign up with Google for simplicity. I gotta mention that you have to set up your two factor authentication for added security. So you will need to provide a phone number and confirm it with SMS. Once you have completed the account setup, log into your SendGrid dashboard to start exploring the platform. To ensure that your emails are properly recognized and delivered, you need to set up your sender identity. So from the SendGrid dashboard, navigate to the sender identity section, enter your sender name, which can be your personal name or your business name. This is the name that the recipients will see in their inbox. And then specify the from email address, which should be a valid email address associated with your domain. You can provide a reply to email address where recipients can send their responses or inquiries. Include your physical address information as required by the anti-spam regulations. Optionally, you can add a nickname for easy reference. And when all of that is done, click create to save your sender identity. Verify your sender address by clicking on the verification link sent to your email. With your sender identity in place, it's time to create a good email template. So from the SendGrid dashboard, go to marketing campaigns under the email sending options section. Choose single send to create a one-time email campaign. After that, you can select a pre-designed template from SendGrid's library or even use your own custom HTML design. Using the drag and drop design editor, you can customize your email template further. Some stuff you can do is that you can add your logo or branding elements, write a compelling subject line that encourages opens, use any images, buttons, or text blocks to structure your content. And I highly recommend personalizing the email using dynamic tags. For example, you can insert the recipient's name. Assign categories to your email for better organization and tracking and save your template to proceed to the next step. After that comes the selecting your audience part. So to send your email campaign, you will need to define your target audience. In the recipients section, click on upload contacts to import your subscriber list. Choose a CSV file containing your contacts information, such as email addresses, the names, and any other relevant data. Map the columns from your CSV file to the corresponding fields in SendGrid. For example, the email, first name, and last name. Select the appropriate contact list where the imported subscribers will be added and exclude any specific segments or lists if needed. Make sure to review and confirm the import to add the contacts to your SendGrid account. And with your email template and audience ready, it's time to schedule and send your campaign. In the schedule section, choose to send your email immediately or specify a future date and time. Again, review all the details of your campaign, including the subject line, sender information, and recipient count. 
You can send a test email to yourself or a group of reviewers to ensure everything looks and functions as intended. Once you're confident that everything is fine with your email, click schedule to initiate the sending process. And finally, you just monitor the campaign's progress and performance in the SendGrid dashboard. And after your email campaign is sent, it's crucial that you analyze its performance and gather insights for any future improvements. And you can do that with SendGrid by navigating to the reports section in the dashboard, view the overview metrics such as delivery rate, open rate, click-through rate, and the unsubscribe rate. This allows you to drill down into specific metrics to identify trends and patterns. After that, you can analyze the performance of your individual links and content elements so that you can understand the audience engagement better. Compare the results of different campaigns to identify what works best for your audience, and then use these insights to improve your email campaigns and continually improve your results. And this in foundation is how you can use SendGrid for email marketing. We've covered the essential steps to set up your SendGrid account, create your email campaigns, grow your subscriber list, and analyze your results. Now, email marketing is an ongoing process that requires continuous improvement and experimenting. So use the insights gained from your campaign analytics to refine your strategy. Thanks so much for watching this video. Let us know if you have any other questions by leaving them in the comment section down below. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.